a gale uprooted this tree and scientists discovered something shocking beneath it Trees toppled by stormy weather are a fairly common occurrence across Ireland But when people saw what was unearthed by this uprooted tree they had to call in a group of scientists to explain it Beech trees are not native to Ireland, but they were introduced in relatively recent history The most famous beech trees in the country are of course the so-called dark hedges of Northern Ireland a group of trees that create an awe-inspiring sight as their branches intertwine over a rural road Indeed the dark hedges notably featured in the TV series Game of Thrones They provided a backdrop for Arya Stark and Gendry's travels on the King's Road in the first episode of the show's second season But in September 2015 a completely different Irish beech tree rose to prominence This fallen tree was discovered in Colooney a small town with a rich history on the northwest coast of the island However, this particular tree was actually toppled months before as a result of severe storms such gales can bring rain snow and flooding and They're able to generate winds with speeds of up to hundred miles per hour But the toppled 215 year old giant did not attract any attention for many months at least not until someone made the eerie discovery of what was ensnarled in the trees exposed root system a team of archaeologists were dispatched to investigate the strange finding and the Sligo Leitrim Archaeological Services SLAS scientists who arrived on the scene immediately realized what they were dealing with The morbid discovery was that of a human skeleton split in half by the trees upheaval Indeed while the torso arm and skull were trapped in the trees exposed roots the remains of the lower body were still in the ground as archaeologist dr. Marion Dowd deduced the tree must have pulled apart the skeleton that lay beneath it when the stormy weather brought the tree down She also noted that some of the bones had actually been destroyed by the movement of the tree's roots After confirming that the remains were those of a man approximately 17 to 20 years old the archaeologist used carbon dating to calculate when he died Carbon 14 a radioactive isotope of carbon enables scientists to date the age of organic material because it decays at a known pace When the results came back though the archaeologists were astonished to discover that the skeleton dated to some point between 1030 and 1200 CE This young medieval man then died nearly a thousand years ago The team estimates that the man was about 5 foot 10 in height and judging from the wear in his joints he must have worked a physically demanding job furthermore while the man's height may seem average in today's world it was much taller than the five foot five average that was typical for men of his era but the amazing discovery was only beginning to unravel its secrets after examining the bones in detail the scientist also found evidence of a physical trauma most notably the skeleton had slashes on the ribs and on his hand this evidence led the archaeologist to suggest that the damage was done with a knife the man clearly did not die of natural causes Moreover the team reasoned that the wounds implied this man was attempting to escape from his assailant The two leading theories were that the mystery man had perished in armed combat or as a result of a private argument Neither possibility could be much of a surprise in medieval Europe where life was short and hard for everyone save the nobility Whoever planted this tree at the start of the 19th century must have had no idea of what was underneath the scientist reasoned Yet it was the planter or planters actions that ultimately allowed this little piece of history to have been unearthed over 200 years later However, the archaeological magic still wasn't finished Indeed judging from the fact that the man was placed in a grave in an east-west position Hands folded over pelvics region the scientists determined that he'd been given a Christian burial this suggests that family members or locals who had known the man gave him a formal burial Better yet the finding also hinted at the possibility of other graves in the same general area In fact historical records from the 19th century Indicate that this particular location had a church and a graveyard in medieval times and while investigations have not found any other archaeological sites in the area the discovery of this grave certainly gives hope that there are more buried historical artifacts Waiting to be uncovered in the vicinity For now though the bones are to find a more permanent resting place at the National Museum of Ireland in Dublin In conclusion aside from giving us a brief glimpse into medieval life This finding is a great reminder of how much history can be hiding just inches under our feet